God would never allow people to be deceived, would he? Well, listen, <laughs> you know, you believe that and you're going to meet a lot of people in hell if you think God would never allow a person to be deceived. Listen, sincerity, you can be sincere and sincerely wrong, okay? Sincerity is not one of the qualifications that God says, okay, you're sincere, even though you're believing a lie, I'll let you, you know, you're okay. No. Just because you're sincere doesn't make what you believe right. There are all kinds of people who are sincere. You know, Hitler was sincere in creating the master race of people and the extinction of, you know, six million Jews. I mean, he was sincere. He was trying to bring about a form of sort of like the kingdom of God on this earth with this superior race of people. He was sincere, but he was sincerely wrong. Okay. Now, when it comes to not being deceived, we need to understand this verse in Acts 17 and verse 11. This is something that you must do in order not to be deceived. In order not to believe a lie. This is something that you've got to do in order not just to be sincere, but sincerely wrong. You've got to do this, Acts 17 and verse 11. It says, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Now there's two things here that we've got to have in order not to be deceived. First of all, a readiness of mind. That means your mind is in gear. Your mind is activated. You're thinking. You're thinking for yourself. You're not just being spoon-fed what someone else tells you and what someone else tells you is in the Bible. How many times I've heard the response, well, my minister said, well, I'll have to check that out with my minister, whether that's right or not. Well, listen, if your minister has been in, in a theology class, has, has been taught a lie, then all he's going to repeat is the lie that he's been taught. Okay? Again, just because your minister is sincere, he could be sincerely wrong. Okay? We've got to understand that. All right? So the first thing you've got to have not to be deceived is a readiness of mind like the Thess Thessalonians, uh, people in, Th excuse me, people in Thessalonica. You've got to have a readiness of mind. And the second thing you've got to do is to prove whether what I tell you is true. As the scripture says here, they search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Now, this is what you've got to have. You know, don't just believe it because someone says it, sh prove it from the Bible, okay? That's what you've got to do. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.